Let's get right to our chief meteorologist, Gil Simmons. Gil. On the air, on the go, and on scene, News 8 chief meteorologist Gil Simmons brings his A-plus game. But that energy and enthusiasm, not so public, since a health scare nearly a month ago. You go from being probably the fittest of your life to struggling going up and down stairs. Um, it's a rather upsetting wake up. It happened in the early morning hours of a day off. He woke up to a strange sensation. But I felt, I think I slept crooked. I felt kind of tingly, a little numb. His wife, Liz, rushed him to the nearest medical center. I hate to even think about what some of the alternate outcomes could have been based on what doctors have told me. And I'll, I'll leave it at that point. Doctors at Yale New Haven Hospital told him this. Well, it's very complicated, but the boiled down version is that some arteries got kinked in my neck. And before anyone in pencil or pen draws any conclusions, it's impossible to know when this damage actually happened, whether it was 24 hours prior, 24 days prior, 24 months prior. The bottom line when I spoke to the doctor in my terms, as I like to be very honest and open, I said, look, this is a case of bad luck. And that's exactly what he said. The damaged arteries caused a series of physical problems, from tingling to muscle weakness. Gill is working hard to regain strength and coordination, undergoing therapy at Gaylord Rehab Center. All I want to do is be at work. I want to get back to being active, and I'm under very close supervision and strict rules as to what I can and cannot do. So. I am getting better, but the, the progress is a little slower than I'd like, but things are moving in the right direction. What do you want people to know uh, as to when you may be able to come back? I think it's, it's tough to give an exact date at this point, but I just want people to know that I'm working hard to get back to work. Back to coworkers and viewers in countless numbers. Gil is thankful for the prayers and support. And I just want each and every one to know that it really makes a difference. It has kept me so elevated. I don't have time to think any other way. Optimism and Gil, synonymous. I'm tapping into unknown areas for optimism these days, but you know, I've always been optimistic based on um, knowing how it can be. Jocelyn Mementa, News 8.